So tonight I'm going to show you, it's a pretty simple dinner actually, but I'm going to show you the dinner that I've been having all week. Um, it is a lemon mango type of salmon with sauteed zucchini. So it's actually pretty simple, might sound <laughs> fancier than it actually is. So um, you will need uh, about four to six ounce uh, filet of salmon. Um, I preferred wild and I also preferred sockeye, but you know, you can go with what you want, but definitely go wild um, if you can. Um, going to need a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning. Um, the only reason I say a little is because I, I don't know how to make lemon pepper. So if somebody has a, a DIY lemon pepper recipe, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Um, I'm using frozen salmon so it lasts longer. So I've got my frozen filet here, but if you're using fresh, that's cool too. Um, you'll need cooking spray tin foil. Uh, and then I'm also using frozen mango. Again, I use a lot of frozen and fruits because sometimes I can't get through fruits. I don't eat nearly as many fruits as I do vegetables. And so I don't want them to spoil. So I do a lot of frozen and when I throw them in my Shakeology and they're frozen, I don't have to add ice. So even better. Um, and then you will need frozen mango. So, and you're going to divide it into half cup, half cup. So, um, I've got my oven heating up. <laughs> Look at that timing. That was amazing. Did you see that? Did you hear that? The beeper just went off. So I've got my oven. It's the little things, right? I got my oven set to uh, 400 degrees and part of that is because I'm working with frozen. So if you are working with uh, thawed out or fresh, uh, then you'll want to make sure that you'll probably, you will probably get away with like 350 or 375 for the temp. Um, all right. So first things first, uh, I got a little bit of cooking spray on the bottom of the pan. Let me angle this down here. All right, can we see that? Let me scoot this back a little bit. All right, so got our pan here. It's already been sprayed. Got the filet in there. Kind of keep it moving around there. I'm gonna take just a little bit, like a dash or so of sea salt. You don't wanna need a whole lot. Uh, and then, and I mean, I know some of it might bounce off, but don't worry, it'll start to kind of stick and then it'll absorb as the fish thaws out. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the lemon pepper I do the same thing. I like, don't need a whole lot. I like more of the lemon flavoring than I do the pepper flavoring, but um, you know, it's up to you. And so just a little bit of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my frozen, this is a half a cup, frozen half a cup of mango, and I'm gonna place it on here like so. It's a little tricky when it's, you're trying to get it to stick. So it may not all just go nicely on there, but do your best. So what'll happen though, is you'll end up with some mango juice and the juice of the fish, the oils of the fish, and they'll start to kind of mix up together. All right, so we're gonna cover this bad boy up. All right. So, got that done. So now we're going to throw this into, I don't know if you can see my oven. Actually, yeah, you can. Throw this into the oven, like so. Set the timer for 30 minutes. Again, I've got it uh, on 30 minutes. Let me turn this back up. <laughs> so I've got the oven set on 400 degrees and it'll be 30 minutes because it's frozen. If again, you're working with fresh, you could get away with 30 minutes at 350 or 375. Um, and you should be okay. So that's gonna cook for a half an hour. I'm not gonna keep this going for the half an hour, but I will show you what I'll be doing with the zucchini in the meantime. So, you can see my pan here. That's also been sprayed with uh, Pam with cooking spray. And I've got my veggies nice and sliced up here. I'm doing the zucchini. Uh, and then it's too early to put them in the oven, but what I will do is I will saute them and I will Sprinkle a little bit of salt on them and you can steam them. You can bake them or roast them. You can grill them uh, completely up to you. Um, if you do saute them in any kind of oil, I would say no more than a like half teaspoon to a teaspoon. You don't want them super greasy or oily. So, and make sure you use something like olive oil, olive oil or coconut oil. 
Um, okay, and then with the other half, you're probably wondering, what are you gonna do with the other half of mango? So because they're frozen, I'm going to thaw them out when it gets a little closer to time being done and then just enjoy those on the side. So you basically you're getting a cup of mango between what's on the salmon and what's in your little cup there. So, and in about a half an hour or so, all of this will be done. And I will post a picture when it's done as I always do. But that one, that's it, you know. A lot of people ask me about how to, you know, what are some ideas for healthy recipes um, that are quick and delicious. And I mean, I'm having salmon, hello. And it's super quick, like, you saw that the prep was five minutes, maybe? How long has this been set? Okay, yeah, about five, about five minutes. And then cooking time is 30 minutes, and then it's, it's done, like, that simple. So dinners don't have to be complicated to be healthy and to be delicious, you know? Like, you're really, I think, I do, you're really going to enjoy the flavor of the sweetness on the mango with the savory, um, the sweetness of the mango with the savory of the salmon and then the lemon pepper gives a little bit of the kick with the zest. I mean, it's just, it's really yummy. So, and then the sauteed zucchini, simple. Pick a vegetable of your choice, you know? You know, whatever green vegetable you like. Maybe it's broccoli instead, that's totally cool. Um, but you know, that's a very simple dinner, very filling, very yummy, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So don't make it complicated. It does not have to be complicated to be healthy and delicious. So you know that one of my tenets, one of my missions, one of my goals is to help teach people that you can continue to eat healthy without giving up flavor. In fact, when you eat like, you know, fresh whole foods that aren't smothered in stuff, that aren't deep fried, that aren't covered in lots of artificial crap, like you actually get more flavor because you're bringing out the natural, the real flavors of the original food. What a concept. <laughs> so. Anyway, if you try this recipe, I would love to hear about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Maybe the mango, lemon, salmon uh, combo wasn't your deal. That's okay, I like it, I'm still gonna eat it. So, and it's a super simple uh, recipe.